Hello students, welcome to my first lecture uh, for the subject Business Regulatory Framework Part 2 or 6th semester. So today I am going to deal with the first part that is Unit 1 and in Unit 1 as I have already familiarized you all with the syllabus, Unit 1 talks about the Indian Partnership Act 1932. So in this video, I will be dealing with two parts. First part, as the screen shows, I will be talking about the need for partnership form of business. And secondly, I will be talking about the definition, the definition of partnership. So uh, there will be three or four slides. And from the slides, I will try my level base to explain you all what was the need for bringing the partnership form of business. We earlier had the sole proprietorship of business. But what is the need for bringing this new form of business? We'll try to get that in details. And secondly, I will break down the definition of partnership and try to explain in very simple terms. So let us start. So first, it talks about the need First slide, it talks about the need for partnership form of business. Here I have given three bullets. The first bullet, as you can see in the screen, it talks about lack of marketing efficiency. So lack of managerial efficiency or you can say the lack of marketing skill efficiency. Now, uh, for an organization, like it is a very small retail outlet, where you will be only the owner, you are the sole owner. Since you are not catering to a huge market, you have a very small market, then you are the only one. You are the king on your own. Like you are, you will be having your own rules and regulations, how you are going to manage the entire activities of your store. So in that case, the managerial activity will be performed by you. And that type of farm is a sole proprietorship farm. Soul means one, where there is only one partner. So, sorry, one member. But when we talk about a big organization, like there is a bigger market, you have to live up the demands of the bigger market. Now, if the market grows in size, then you cannot live with the sole proprietorship form of business. It becomes very tough for you. So, in that case, what you are going to do? Since you are running, uh, running short of managerial efficiency, you will require more persons who will be there to advise you regarding what are the decisions you should take. Then in that case, you will have a new form of partnership. There comes a new form of partnership, then new form of business, which is known as partnership. In partnership, apart from once one or single owner you will be having one partner as well who will be uh, advising you who will be helping you in taking important decisions to manage the business effectively and efficiently so that is the first point which brings out the need for partnership form of business second it says that lack of capital investment now very simple like if you are the only one managing the entire business, then in terms of capital investment as well, you will be having limited capital. So for example, if the market grows in size, earlier you were investing only 10,000 rupees. Now since the market has grown in size, you have to invest more funds into your business. So from where you are going to bring more funds? You, you do not have much of fund with you. So in that case, a partner will be of utmost help, uh, help in this aspect. So a partnership in this case will be another solution or way out. So in this case, sole proprietorship will be ineffective. And in order to make more investment like capital investment, you would require a partner. So in this case, partnership form of business will be of great help. So lack of capital investment also leads to creation of partnership. Third is the growing market demand. So what does growing market demand means? Like today I have a retail store and in that retail store I am just catering to 550 
people residing in my village. Now, if the if the number or if the market grows in size from 50 people, I have to cater to the demand of 500 people. So in this case, I have to invest more. I have to make, I have to bring in more manpower. So in that case, uh, living up to the huge demand, or uh, I won't be able to live up to the live up, live up to the great demand of the entire population. So in that case. If a partner comes along with me to accompany in my business activities or to help in my business activities, then it would be of great help in catering to the huge market demand. So in this case, the third point says that growing market demand also leads to creation of partnership form of business. So these three points helps us to find a meaning why we require a partnership form why we should go for a partnership firm. Next, the definition of partnership. Now, under Section 4 of Indian Partnership Act 1932, it states that a partnership may be defined as an association of pers persons which have come together to run a business and the profits of which will be shared, profits and loss will be shared for the activities carried on by all or any of them acting for all. Now you can see the definition, but in order to remember the definition, you don't need to buy heart it. Ratta nahi maana. So let us try to explain in a, a simple manner. Like I will try to break down the entire definition into simple terms and try to help you in easier way. Now the next slide, it, it places three bullets so what does the first point says what is the first thing that you would require to form a partnership that is association it's an association of persons now when we are uh, defining person in terms of indian partnership act 1932 we should be very precise what does a person mean like if i say that i have a i have a partnership firm and in my partnership firm, I have two persons or I have two partners, me and my friend. So my friend is a natural person. He is a natural person. He is a human being. But in other case, say again, I have a partnership firm and I have a partner. Now, in this case, my partner, my co-partner is another firm or another business entity. Now, in this case, the business entity, it is not a natural person, but still you can regard it as a person. So what type of person is it? It is an artificial person. So person in terms of uh, if we define according to Indian Partnership Act 1932, person can be of two types. One is natural person and the other is artificial person. Next, it should be a business. Now, in order to form a partnership, First thing, as we have already discussed, there should be an association of persons. Next is, you should carry a business. There should be a business. Now, what does business mean? In simple or layman term, we know that what business means. The state of being busy, it's business. You're conducting certain activity which is rendering you profit or earning you revenues or giving you revenues. That is a business. So, now what business means in terms of Indian Partnership Act 1932. Well, business can be defined as any activity where you are indulging yourself in trade, profession or any sort of activities like trade will be there, there will be profession also and there will be other activities also. So these three mix together and we can collectively call it as business. For example, if I am running a tutorial center, so that is also a business. If I am having a retail store, that is also a business. If I am having a, uh, if, if, if I am a doctor and I have a private chamber, that is also a business. Now, all these three instances are referred to with different names. Like one will be profession, the other will be trade and the other will be other forms of activities.
Now, all these three, it makes up the business. So, there has to be a business activity. The person, association of person should engage themselves in any type of business activity in order to consider it as a partnership. Now, the third thing, why you are conducting the business? You are carrying on the business in order to earn profit, isn't it? Now, if you are earning profit, the partners will be having equal shares in the profit. Now, if you are earning the profit, if you are getting the share in profit, being a partner, you should also be liable to pay for the losses as well. Now, this is the first, third most important element that makes up the partnership, sharing of profits and losses. We will get into details in our coming videos in more details like sharing of profits and losses. Now, the last point, what does it say? It says that carry on by all or any of them acting for all. Now, what does it mean? You have come across contract of agency when we were discussing the Indian Contract Act 1872. Now, what does agency mean? In an agency form of business, you will be having a principal and you will be having an agent. Now, why we are associating this agency with partnership? Because partnership is also a form of agency. In certain cases, a partner act as a principal and in certain cases, he also need to act as a as an agent as well. Now, let me give you an example. In what cases he act as a principal and in what instances he need to act as an agent. Now, if I have a partnership firm, me, my friend and two of my friends, we are having three partners in our firm. Now, in order to carry out the business, say uh, one fine day, I got a deal. I made a deal with one of the outside party. Now, I went on to make a deal with the outside party and in that case, I acted as a principal. I was a principal because the outside party regarded me as the owner of that partnership firm. Until and unless you are regarded as the owner, no outside party is going to trust you or make a deal with you. So in that case, you are acting as a principal. Now the second thing, agent. So when do you act as an agent? Like for when I'm when I went on to make that deal, I was in, I was acting as a princi principal for the outside party. Simultaneously, I was acting as an agent for my co-partners because I was acting on behalf of my partners. So my part for my partners, I was acting as an agent because I went there to make the deal. I was representing my entire firm. So I was acting as a as an agent. So in this case, this point uh, refers that any activity which is carried on by all or any of them acting for all, it will be regarded as a partnership. So these four bullets, I hope it makes you easier to understand and remember what partnership is. So let us summarize what we have studied today. Firstly, we have studied the need for partnership farm or partnership form of business. Earlier, we used to have sole proprietorship where there is only one owner, single owner. And in case, if he runs out of managerial efficiency, in case, if he runs out of capital investment, in case, if the market is growing in size, in these three instances, the situation would lead him to go into a partnership firm. Next, we have discussed the definition. The definition of partnership is defined under Section 4 of the Indian Partnership Act 1932. And finally, we broke down the entire definition into four simple points. First, there is an association of person. Now, what does person mean? Person can be either natural or it can be either artificial. Next, uh, it is a business. Now, what does business mean? It can be either trade, it can be either profession, or it can be either any form of activity that you are carrying on. Now, why you are carrying on that activity or that business? In order to earn the profit. Now, when you are earning the profit, there might be losses as well. Now, when you are earning profit or losses, you need to share it among the partners. 
So this is the third element. If there is no sharing of profit and loss, then there will be no partnership. So this is a core element of partnership. Now the last point is, which I talked about, the agency form of business, where you will have, where you will see the partner acting as a principal. He will also be acting as an agent, which states that carried on by all or any of them acting for all. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope I am clear with my topic like the need for partnership and the definition of partnership. This was my first lecture and stay tuned for my coming lectures on the Indian Partnership Act 1932. Stay safe. Thank you.